All right, everybody. So I'm shooting the old Matthews Triax. It's an older bow, but I love it. The quad drop away rest, HHA Tetra sight, and the B Stinger stabilizer. It's a great bow. I love it. 10 out of 10. Let's get cracking. Live action. All right, so we got our 20 yard sighted in. And I would say that's a pretty good looking uh, group right there. That's gonna be a deer killer USA right there. So gotta, gotta shoot the Illuminox, the old green Illuminox. But 20 yards, that is dead nuts. So now we're gonna move out to 60. So let's do it, live action. All right, let's give her a whirl at 60. Looking decent. Let's go check it out. So that's not too bad at 60, but with this sight, you want to get as close as possible. So I'm gonna go back and shoot one more time, see if you can't get dialed in a little better. All right, round two. Yeah, and uh, before I was never really that accurate because I wore glasses and always had to move my head to find my anchor point. Well, I just went and got contacts. I'm telling you what, if you shoot with glasses, you're probably shooting, you know, halfway decent. But you switch to contacts or get laser eye surgery or something like that, your accuracy is going to go way up because you're going to be able to get that same anchor point every time. You're not going to be able to fight it. Do it. And just a little pointer. It's not a good idea to go out and sighting your bow when it's windy, but you gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta fill the freezer. All right. Well, that's not bad for 60. I might shoot one more time and see if that wasn't a fluke or not, but I would never really take a 60 yard shot. I like the old from 20 to 40 yards. That's the bread and butter right there for swacking deer. Let's take these out and shoot them again. pretty dang close. What I really need is a smaller target. So I think my target was too big, so I cut it down a little bit so that way I can focus on it harder, so that way I can get more of an accurate sight in for my 60 to saw my other pin. All, just saw all my other dials add up when I put the tape on. So let's go try it again. Gotta wait for the wind. All right, guys, so we we're shooting 60, obviously, and we got our wheel here set for 50, 51, 52. So you're gonna go into your box here that came with the sight. Should be a little packet in there. You're gonna pull that out. All right, once you got that out, open it up here. Okay, so these are all your tapes here, your yardages. So you're gonna go through and find your 52 or whatever one you sight in with, you're gonna find it. These other ones back. You want to get this as accurate as possible. So there's your 60. Alright. Now you're just gonna make sure it's on there in that spot good. Then loosen your dial here and let it wrap around. Let's get as even as you can with that piece that was already on there. try 30 now and see if this thing worked all right all right guys so we got the right tape on there it's ready to shoot we got it set to 30 yards so it's a moment of truth here we're gonna see if it actually worked and got sighted in so let's give it a whirl all right guys well that wraps up the sighting in the hha tetra it's a great bow sight if i was you guys i'd recommend going and pick one up they're a great bow sight single pin they totally up my accuracy from coming from a five pin bow sight and deer season's right around the corner and I'm telling you what, with this single pin, you're going to start swacking and stacking. So stay tuned to my channel. Hunting season's coming up, so give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and stay tuned.